In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use radio and digital recruitment campaigns to find the best talent for your business. Hi, my name is Keith and I'm a senior media consultant with Cumulus Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use radio and digital recruitment campaigns to find the best talent for your business. Now, radio advertising has been around forever and it's still one of the most effective ways to reach potential candidates. But with so many people using the internet, it's also important that you have a strong digital recruitment strategy in place. I'll show you how to do both in this video. So when we talk about finding and targeting new employees, the goal of recruitment advertising is to reach new employees and there are a lot of companies offering ways to do that. But our philosophy is that your money is wasted if you're not getting to the right people. We specialize in radio and digital marketing, but that's not what sets us apart. We have the tools and experience to get your campaign in front of the right people. So with a coordinated campaign with radio, they're hearing your message and with digital, they're seeing it. So the main reason to advertise is to become the brand or business that customers think of first and feel best about whenever a triggering event in their life happens that causes a need or a want for your product or service. Now that's from a marketing standpoint. From a, a recruitment standpoint, you want to catch these people when they have a triggering event, when they're coming out of work one day saying, you know what, I hate my job, I want to work somewhere else. You know, you have to catch people in the right cycle uh, when they're dissatisfied with their current working situation. So here's the importance of being known before you're needed or wanted, right? You need to have, uh, people need to know that you're hiring and that there's jobs out there. So. How do you become known? Well, there are four keys to successful advertising. Reach, frequency, consistency, and the message. Reach meaning where can you reach enough of the right people? You have to define your targets, the three graphics, demographic, psychographic, geographical. Where are you targeting, right? Reach, you have to reach people and you have to reach a lot of people. Frequency, how many times are you reaching these people with your job offer? We live in a hyper cluttered world and the curve of forgetfulness is out there. They say sleep is the great eraser. That means everything that we learn new in the day. When we go to sleep, it kind of gets erased off the chalkboard, right? Unless it's something that we're seeing over and over and it's staying top of mind. Job candidates that are your potential new employees have to see your job offer frequently. You need to stay in front of them. They need to hear it for them to act. Consistency, if you're the type of business that's always hiring, you should always be advertising, always be running recruitment campaigns uh, month after month. Advertising is like exercise. You have to do it regularly to be effective. You need to be ever present and in front of the potential new hires. And the last key is message. Be memorable, connect emotionally, build trust. Speak to the customer or the employee in the language of the employee about what matters to the employee, right? How does your business solve their problem, right? If your message is, hey, come work for us. We work six days a week. We pay $6 an hour and we don't have holiday or vacation time uh, and you have to reimburse us on sick days. Um, well, that's a terrible message. So it doesn't matter how much reach, frequency, or consistency you have. Um, if your message is bad, you're not going to get anybody hiring, right? If your pay is lower than the average, which the average right now about $20 an hour. You can go to 20 different locations in a single day and find 20 different jobs all starting at $20 or more for no skill, no labor, right? There's so many warehouses, especially in central Pennsylvania, that are hiring uh, packers, pickers, forklift operators that there's just nobody out there that wants to do it. So they have to reach out and grab those people from other companies. So. How do they remember you? Well, you have a lot of local advertising options to consider when you're recruiting, right? You have outdoor, you have broadcast or cable TV, you have the classified section of the newspaper, which side note, if you're spending money to put classified ads in the newspaper, stop. The demographic of newspaper readers, physical newspaper readers is 65 plus. Most 65 plus people that I know aren't looking for jobs, so you're wasting money if you're spending money to advertise jobs in the classified section of the newspaper 
in 2022. Uh, you have digital, direct mail campaigns, and my favorite, radio. But with all of these decisions, or all of these options, how do you decide which one's gonna work best for you, right? Well, to answer that question, let's talk about uh, what are the common characteristics of best performing advertising. So a survey was done that looked at 3,200 different successful advertising campaigns over a six year period. And what they found was that the best performing advertising shared in these eight specific or characteristics. Number one, your advertising or recruitment message has to reach potential employees. Number two, you need to influence close to the point of purchase. Number three, you need to provide local employee interactions, right? Number four, you want to create an emotional connection with that person you're trying to recruit, right? What do you offer better? Why should they come work for you? Number five, build trust and credibility. Number six, your uh, recruitment advertisement should be unskippable. Engagement, number seven, it should be cost effective. And number eight, you should be able to turn around your recruitment message quickly. If positions change or you fill a position and you need to, to change your message, you should be able to do that quickly. Now, as you fill in the little dots for each of the different media options across the board, as you see, all of the, or, uh, all of the categories or media uh, outlets have merit in some of the characteristics but only radio meets all of the requirements for delivering the best results for local advertisers. And that's why radio consistently delivers the highest ROI of any local media option out there. It's a 10 to one return. And when you pair that up with digital, by adding a second layer, you're increasing your overall effectiveness of your campaign by an, init by an additional 19%. So it's almost like one plus one really is three when you add radio and digital because they both work better together. So radio is everywhere, right? There are more people listening to radio in more different places, uh, on more different devices in more different ways than ever in the history, right? So how do we put this all together for you? We recruit with radio and digital. Again, I just said it gives you 19% increase in your ROI by pairing them together. With radio, radio is reaching the passive job seeker. These are good, reliable people who have a job, but would maybe respond to a better opportunity if they heard it, right? A recent survey showed that two thirds of currently employed workers would consider making a change if presented the right opportunity. Radio reaches them first thing in the morning when they wake up. It reaches them while they drive to work, while they're at work and on the way home. With more, home, uh, with more people working from home, you have more listening on home devices like Alexa and Google Home. So radio recruitment really expands your reach. Imagine talking to targeted applicants and their support network of spouses, families, and friends. These people will hear about your job offers and tell their friends. It's word of mouth on steroids. So radio recruitment sends a positive message about your business to the entire community and it brands your organization as an employer of choice. It's a place where people want to work. With digital advertising, digital advertising is reaching the active job seeker. These are people that are going online searching job boards. Uh, by the way, we can target people with our digital targeting that are searching job boards without you having to pay to sponsor or promote your listings on any job board. So again, tip number two would be if you're spending money on job boards to place ads, you're wasting money. Um, you're, you're putting ads up there where there's 20,000 other companies all hiring for the same thing and you're trying to get the attention of somebody that's looking in that, that field. You need to stand out from the clutter. So here's how to coordinate a radio and digital recruitment campaign. First, pick a radio station or stations that best target your prospective employee. Cumulus Media has massive audience reach across central Pennsylvania, reaching nearly 430,000 adult weekly listeners, 18 plus, every week. Uh, week 104 targets adults and women, 25 to 54. The X targets men and adults, 18 to 49. Hot 106.7 is targeting the 20 and 30 year olds. It's our top 40 station. 
Uh, CBS Sports Radio is our sports talk station. A lot of affluent men, 25 to 54, listen to that station. And WTPA 93.5 is our classic rock station, uh, targeting men 25 to 54 and 35 to 64. So whatever your demographic of your employees is, you want to target a radio station that best, best fits that listener. Number two, you want to add digital display advertising to target job seekers online who are searching for jobs, visiting job boards, or work in fields and positions similar to what you're hiring. With digital display, we do a blended campaign uh, with specific tactics for recruitment. We use keyword search, which is any search bar on a website excluding the big ones, Google, Bing, Yahoo, right? Any website that has a search bar, like a job board that has a search bar. If you're typing in there, we can capture that search, add that person to your target list, and then over the next 30 days, start dropping impressions for your job offer in front of those people on their smartphones, on their desktops, on their laptops. Contextual targeted ads. We can target people based on the content that they're consuming. Uh, as an example, are they visiting job boards or are they showing signs of somebody that's looking to make a career move? Number three, we use retargeting ads to retarget website visitors that have already been to your site that found out that you're hiring. Now, once they left, you want to keep reminding them that, hey, we're still out here. Our positions are still open. We'd still like you to apply. And number four, my favorite, mobile geofencing and addressable geofencing. It's an invisible boundary around a real world location. And I'll show you an example here in a second. Keyword search, like I said, any search bar on a search engine. Contextual, what they're consuming, retargeting websites. Once they leave your site, we follow them and keep reminding them that you're still hiring. And mobile geofencing, drawing invisible fence around a competitor's business that has employees that do the same jobs that you need them to do. So say you're a forklift driver, right? And you work for company A. Well, company C just opened up and they're hiring and they can't find anybody. They've gone to one day job fairs, they've had hiring events, they can't hire anybody. So they target and geofence company A. Now, when employees go to work at company A, when their smartphones are inside the building, Every smartphone ID is unique. It's like a fingerprint, right? No two are the same. So when you're inside an area for a minute or two, your phone pings off of a tower and Google and your cell phone company both know exactly where you are, right? So if you're inside a competitor's building, odds are pretty good that you're an employee doing a job that company C needs you to do, right? So we can grab those smartphone IDs, we put them on your list, and now over the next 30 days, we start dropping ads to them on their smartphones. And we can even track with conversion zones, people that physically walk into your hiring location or start working for you. So if you're targeting company A and we find six people at company A that were served your ad that physically walked into your hiring location, we call that a weighted action. It's a way for you to hold our feet to the fire and say, hey, how do we know this digital campaign is really working? How do, where do we see the results? And number three, add Facebook sponsored ads to reach prospective employees in their news feed or responsive display ads targeting potential employees searching for jobs on the Google search engine network. I'm not talking just Google search. I'm talking about YouTube, Waze, Google My Business, uh, Google Maps, any Google property, anybody with a Gmail account, we can target them. Here's a, the Facebook pay-per-click. We find unique profiles specific to your positions, your demographic, uh, including geography, interests, careers. Facebook easily tells us where a potential employee went to college or trade school, where they're working, uh, and their position. Our team uses effective methods to achieve the greatest reach with Facebook approval. Uh, Facebook approved creatives and calls to action tailored to the goal of your campaign and getting that employee to work for you instead of the competition or the responsive guaranteed display. This is targeting the Google network specifically, but the ads it's called responsive because Google generates the ads responsively on the fly when somebody makes a specific search uh, or maybe they're on YouTube searching how to be a forklift operator, you know, consuming content online that shows that they're showing signs of uh, looking for work. So number four, connect with qualified employees at our online job fair. The online job fair will run live for four weeks from September 1st through September 30th 
and it can be found from each of the home pages of each of our five radio stations. Each job fair participant will have their own microsite with company and career information, as well as a direct link to your website's job board for prospective employees to apply or find out more information. The on-air and online promotion will air across five radio stations from August 27th to September 30th for five weeks, driving listeners to the online job fair on our radio station's home pages. You get about 250 name mentions each week on air and online. Total of 1,250 name mentions uh, will air Monday through Sunday, 6 a.m. to midnight. That's a $43,000 value alone. Online promotion will consist of radio station email blasts, three per station, and Facebook posts, three per station. That's a $3,000 value. And our last three job fairs produced 13,876 page views and 8,321 unique viewers. Have you ever been to a one-day job fair where you were in front of, uh, you know, 3,000 people even? Here are some of the, of our recruiters. Some of our recruitment partners for the last couple job fairs. Any of them that you might recognize? So let's crunch the numbers, right? For, let me move my image out of the way here. For a company to attend a one day on site job fair, you're going to pay between $300 and $750 for a single booth and reach maybe 500 people, right? With one-day job fairs, you're limited to the foot traffic at that single event. And I'll add, you're probably dealing with people that are less qualified for the positions, um, more unemployed people versus people that are employed doing the job and you bringing somebody that's a good employee somewhere else to your business with a better offer. To do 30 job fairs a month, if you did one a day, every day, and you're spending between $300 and $750, at the end of that 30-day period, you would spend between $9,000 and $22,500 total. Plus, where are the single-day job fairs promoted? Are they po promoted on a company's single website? Do you rely on people coming to your website to find out that you're hiring for the job fair? Where are, is it promoted? Cumulus Media's recruitment solution includes three weeks of radio recruitment with 30 30-second commercials per week. You get 30 days of digital display targeting with 75,000 impressions being served to desktops, laptops, mobile phones, uh, and devices like that. You get 30 days of either Facebook targeting or responsive display targeting with 50,000 impressions targeting the Google network or Facebook. You get the 30-day online job fair with your own page listing your open positions and linking to your website. You have five radio stations reaching nearly 430,000 18 plus adults weekly, driving traffic to the online job fair. That's free added value. You get inclusion in the promotional announcements airing across all five stations, giving you massive reach with your job offer. $46,000 value with all of the on air and online promotion, email blast, and social posts. The price difference, depending on which station or stations you want to be on, or I'm sorry, the price is different depending on what station or stations you want to be on, but all of our recruitment campaigns are less than $5,000 for a 30-day coordinated recruitment campaign. If you would like to schedule time to talk about your specific recruitment needs, I'm happy to jump on a Zoom meeting with you and offer recommendations or show you how we can help you fill your open positions. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next video.